Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our show. With us now on the couch is none other than the founder and CEO of IMDb, Carl Needham. Hey, thank Hi, you. Welcome, Good you. welcome. Good to see you as well. One of the most exciting nights of the year yeah. for me. For all of us, for all <laughs> of for us. having us. Now, I don't think there are many people in the world, called that have seen more films than you have. <laughs> so what, I, I, you told me last year, and it was like, it was just an insurmountable a number of it's films. It's now more than 12,100. Wow. wow. Impressive. Including Incredible. all 92 best picture winners so wow. far. Wow. And I, obviously, I've seen all this year's nominees, so I'll be 93 for 93 well by done. the end of the That's evening. That's impressive. <laughs> so what are two of your must-watch best picture All right, films? I'm gonna, I think I'm going to pick a classic and a more recent oh, one. Oh, good. So my more recent one would be The Shape of Water, mm -hmm. uh, Love that. which won the year of our, one of our viewing parties, and I leapt out of my seat when that one won. I, it's, I, I saw it, I was at the premiere in Toronto, I ended up seeing it in the theatre where it was shot. So, wow. so it's kind of like has such special meaning for me that film, and when it when it won Best Picture, it just made my night. I think it's a real movie lovers movie, mm -hmm. um, and I can't wait to see Guillermo's next movie as oh well. God, so either. maybe maybe here next year. Yeah, <laughs> what's your exciting. classic one? Uh, my classic is Alfred Hitchcock's Rebecca. Oh sure, uh, 1940 wow. Best Picture winner, um, the only Hitchcock film to ever win Best Picture. Wow. But because he was not producing at that time, the Oscar went to David O. Selznick instead of to Hitch. Oh, and wow. that year, there were two Alfred Hitchcock movies nominated for Best Picture because Brief Encounter, I mean, yeah, was it Brief Encounter or Foreign Correspondent? Foreign Correspondent. Foreign Correspondent was also now, nominated now, the same now, year. Now, Brief Encounter, it's interesting you mentioned that movie because I, I have a third backup oh, favorite <laughs> classic uh, Best Picture winner. And that is Billy Wilder's The Apartment oh, so from good. 1960. And a that, that little bit of trivia for you here. So The Apartment came about because Billy Wilder saw Brief Encounter and, and it messed with his head. It's like, what kind of person lends their apartment out <laughs> so that people can have illicit affairs right, right. in their apartment? Because there's a line in Brief Encounter where he says, oh, I, I borrowed the flat from a friend. Oh. And so that was weighing on Billy Wilder's mind. That's and then great. that led to the creation of the plot of the apartment. That's incredible. Which won in 1960. <laughs> what about you, Aisha? What are some of your favorite Best Picture winners of all time? I, you know, I wish that I had the encyclopedic knowledge of film that both of you, I'm a, I'm a film lover. I'm sure a film lover. And a filmmaker. But, and I'm a filmmaker. <laughs> but all of my films are relatively current. So my uh, my pick was Unforgiven. Oh, sure. Uh, for a variety of reasons. It's an extraordinary film that holds up. Uh, but I also love the narrative of how that movie got made because it took Clint Eastwood a very long time to get the funding for that film. Right. Almost a decade. People were telling him Westerns are over. No one wants to see this, these kinds of films anymore. Yeah. The genre is dead. And he was able, when he finally made that movie, to make a great Western in the, in the, in the tradition of that, that specific genre, but also one with all of these modern, important, incisive sociological themes. Yeah. It's a great movie, top to bottom, big ideas inside. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. And it also was a metaphor, I think, for his own career at the yeah. time. Yeah. Who he yeah. was and what he was leaving behind. So it's a it's a perfect movie. I, I love it every time I watch it. Uh, and I did have a second pick, which was Moonlight, oh, so which crazy. is just a perfect film, and everybody should watch it. Uh, it it says so many important things about who we are, about black men in America, about about self perception about embracing yourself and about how hard it can be for people to come to terms with who they are. And, and yeah. it's just beautiful. The acting in it is exquisite. So great. Uh, I just saw Andre Helen last night and I like literally, he's like, <laughs> I can't listen to any more compliments. Leave me alone. <laughs> well, if my favorite Best Picture winner is my favorite movie of all time, which is All About Eve hey, hey. Uh, from 1950, written and directed by Joseph Mankiewicz, starring Betty Davis. Ann Baxter, George Sanders, one of the best characters of all time, Addison Dewitt, just so sarcastic and great. And a relatively unknown Marilyn Monroe was in that oh, one, too. Yeah. So I highly recommend watching that one whenever you get the chance. It's very, very clever. If we have 45 guests on, we can nearly get the whole set of Best Picture winners. <laughs> we could do it. I love We've it. Done quite well. seen all of them. Well, if you out there cannot decide what to watch next, you can head over to IMDb's new homepage. Congratulations, Call. Thank it's you. designed to help entertainment fans find what to watch and where to watch it right now, whether it's in theaters 
on TV or streaming. So make sure you check that out. That's very cool. It's nice yeah. to have a cheat sheet of what to I, watch. I, I love it because it's a combination of personalized recommendations mm -hmm. just for you, fan favorites so you can see what everybody's watching, and then browse the streaming services. That's and great. then also, importantly, find showtimes in cinemas because that's a great place to see a movie. Yep. Yes, <laughs> it, it absolutely well is.